Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company has answered your plant and garden questions at 270-9933. Hi, Lisa. Hello, how well, are you? Welcome to Fake Spring. <laughs> crazy. You know what's going to happen? We're going to go right from summer into winter. Yeah, I know. It always, it always seems to. Uh, <laughs> Let's get to the phones. We'll start with Linda from Boscobel. Hi, Linda. Hi. What's your question? Uh, my question is that uh, I would like to cut off my, my brown flowers off of my hydrangea bush and trim a couple of the branches off also. I wondered if I couldn't do it now. Or should I wait till after the first frost? Oh, you can go ahead and do it now. Um, as far as, you know, drastic trimming back of the plant, like cutting off lots of branches, I'd wait and do that in the spring. But you can go ahead and trim, trim back, you know, do a little bit of trimming and certainly taking the dead flowers off now. That's fine. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. You're thank, welcome. Thanks for calling. Let's go to Doug in Lodi. Hi, Doug. Hey. But go ahead. I get a question about uh, asparagus. Are you better off to leave that uh, bushed out in the fall, or are you better off to cut that right down? No, you'll want to cut it back now. Cut once it, it starts to yellow, once the leaves start to yellow, you can take it back, oh, almost to the ground. Okay. And then it not, wouldn't be no, a bad idea if you can put your hands on it to put down some compost or some composted manure. They're pretty okay. heavy feeders, and now is a good time to do that. Okay, but not until it starts turning yellow, though. Yeah, you want to you want to wait till it starts to turn yellow. Okay, it should be any time now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. St a strange autumn, that's for sure. Let's go to Deborah in Madison. Hi, Deborah. What's your question? Oh, hi, my question is about planting tulip bulbs. Okay. Is it okay to plant them close to the foundation of the house, or is there an issue with the calcium leaching out and not being good for the tulips, or is it okay to, should you stay a certain distance from the foundation? No, you can plant them pretty close to the foundation. They're not bothered by any soil pH issues, but the soil is kind of icky close to your foundation, so I would certainly get a bag of um, bloom booster or bone meal. And when you dig the hole, put a little bit of that in the hole and then put the bulb in so that, that there's some fertility there. Okay, great. Thank right, you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Michelle from Belleville, you're up. What's your question? Hi, I have some clematis, and I'm trying to decide what to cut back. There's some with, like, four uh, yellow flowers that are blooming nice, but I have another group that was purple, and in the spring it just blossomed like crazy for about two weeks leaves fell off and then they left the, like little stems okay and i just have left them and what do i do so the big purple ones um you can i usually you know cut them back a little bit so that they're not all wild like if parts are coming off the trellises but then the major pruning i wait until the spring those stems even though they look pretty dead now will pop some buds in the spring and then you can cut back to some buds and get rid of anything that has died back as far as the little yellowy white ones that are blooming now, that is autumn blooming clematis. And once that's done, that thing you can cut back to the ground. I've seen one grow 30 feet in a growing <laughs> season. So that one, if it's getting too big for whatever it's on, you can cut that back pretty far. Okay, great. Let's go to Mary in Wanakee. Hi, Mary, what's your question? Hi, Lisa. I am calling because I planted new lavender plants last year. Mm -hmm. And they didn't really have flowers last year, but this year they just went crazy. But I'm not sure when to cut them back or how far down to the ground I should cut them. Okay. So lavender is a semi-evergreen in our climate. And you must have really good drainage wherever you are in Wanakee because the soil there usually is pretty bad. Uh -huh. And lavender do like really good drainage. Cut back any spent flowers. Okay. And then maybe put some... Um, some evergreen branches or something like that over like you could do that after Christmas once the ground is frozen if you have a if you get a fresh cut Christmas tree okay. or you get greens to put in your pots you can use that as a mulch to protect the foliage and then next spring when you take that off you're you know you're probably going to trim some stuff back okay but I'd wait until spring to do it so, so just take off the dead just take off the dead the flowers, flowers and yeah. then leave because yeah. they kind of become like little bushes. Yeah, they do. They will do that. You can them. shape them then in the spring. Okay. okay. Thank you all for calling in. Lisa, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Enjoy the weather.